Hi everyone, this is Heather from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we're going to manipulate the bow color on one of these twins, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. My friend Erin recently sent me this photograph because the mother had requested that the bows match. So what I'm going to do is make the bow on the right match the bow on the left and I'm going to do it with an adjustment layer. Let's begin by making a selection using the quick selection tool which is W on your keyboard. We're going to zoom in with a command or control plus space bar in order to access the pan tool. I'm going to make this brush a little bit bigger with my right bracket key and I'm just going to click and drag over this bow to select it. Now you'll notice that Photoshop selected the baby's head as well. That's easy enough to fix. Hold down alt or option on your keyboard in order to click and drag and subtract out that selection. Let's zoom in a little bit more and due to I think think a high ISO and a shallow depth of field. This starts to look a little bit pixelated at this view, but we're going to do the best that we can to make a fairly decent, but not necessarily perfect selection. Command or control minus to zoom out. And what I'm going to do is add a hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to change the hue by pulling up on it a little bit and the saturation down quite a bit. You'll see why in just a moment. And I'm going to bring the lightness up. Now, it does not look like it's going in a good direction. However, I'd like to change the blending mode of this layer from normal to multiply. And all of a sudden, that looks much better. In fact, I might even want to pull down on the saturation a little bit further. Now, the only issue is this selection gave us a pretty hard edge. So let's refine that a little bit further by clicking the mask icon in the properties panel and pulling up on the feather in order to soften that edge just a little bit. If we zoom back out with a command or control minus and look at the before and after, I I think that looks great. Now there are a variety of other options you can choose to achieve this same result. For me, this one happens to be the fastest. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video. 